Recently, I showed you how to create an automatic schedule or automatic calendar it's like this on your uh, Excel sheet. Now, um, I had a couple of really good questions that came out of my last video. And one was that if you have alternating tasks that happen every second week, for example. Now, here I have on Monday, I have that you're um, covering the help desk on Monday. And on, on the next Monday, you have a usage report. And the week after that, you cover the help desk. And the week after that, you have a usage report. Now, so that is every second week. And the other thing that somebody else asked is what happens if you have something that happens, for example, what I used is on the first Friday of every month, you have a department meeting. Now, um, let me show you um, the every second week. So it goes literally by, by the week number, not by the, uh, the date. And so this is the end of August. And so the, the last Monday of, um, of August, you did a usage report. And so that the next, the next thing you should be doing is covering the help desk. So let's go on to September and let's run our schedule again. So there you are, that you're covering the help desk. So it just, it continues on from one month to the other. And there's your department meeting again. So let me go through the code now, show you how I did these two particular things. Now, so I have here, I defined week as long. And so um, in my, uh, in my, setting things up here, I say um, week equals application worksheet function. So this is the week number that comes from the application work worksheet function. Week number is active cell offset five. And so offset five is down here where the date is, right? So that's, that's where it's looking to see what the week number is of that date. And then what we're gonna do is in the case select what we have for Monday, is it's, it's carrying over Monday, it's bringing the week number that it has decided up here what it is. And so now let's go down to our um, sub functions that we did here. And so here's my Monday and it says week function. And so now it says if the week modified uh, by two equals zero. So if it's an even week number, then you're gonna do this tasks. And if it's odd, you're doing that task. So that worked out really well. Now, the other one is this one where it's the first Friday of every month, you have a department meeting. Now, so I didn't bring anything over for the Friday. So what I've added to the Friday function is I've added um, F day as an integer and F day equals, here we're going back to an application, um, a worksheet function. You can pick out the day out of a date. And so we have day and then we're saying offset five. So we're going down to where the date is. And so now when we bring down the date to the, the if statement here, we're saying if date, if the date is less than or equal to seven. Now it took me a little while to figure this out, but um, the, the, the highest, the first Friday could be is the number seven, the date would be seven. So if it's less than that, then you're gonna um, call up the call up this task to be displayed. If it's if the first Friday if the first Friday is less than or equal to seven, then it's going to bring in the the next this this task just this once. So that's how you add specific uh, alternating dates and once a month functions into your automatic calendar. Please subscribe.